spirituality, religion, all words synonymous for conveying a deeper meaning, deeper meaning. nay, a higher power. See, See wars, wars have been fought, have been fought in bloodshed, all in the search of enlightenment. What about the word consciousness? What image does that conjure in your mind? Everything is by design. Your ability to identify in this space at this moment reaches far deeper than you can ever realize. I challenge you, I challenge you to shed the lining of self-doubt and enter the realm of your awareness. Welcome to the Thinker's Lounge. All right. This is uh, the 7 o'clock weekly call. This is your guy, um, your, your, your unconditional loving friend. This is uh, Meta Marvin. Guys, I hope everybody's um, having a wonderful day, week. Um, you know, I chose Wednesday, man, because this is usually what I would call it would be hump day. Um, if that's your description, then, you know, then uh, we'll have another conversation about that at another time. But this is just whatever you want it to be. That's what this is. So I said this is going to be the Thinker's Lounge afternoon and spend a little bit of time with Meta Marvin, um, get a little bit of how I think about how I this is my own. You know, it's not really no right or wrong. Uh, I just like to have dialogue with people that, you know, that's that 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 knows what really controls this world is really more the invisible than the than the physical, and of course Meta is beyond the physical. So that's how I look at it. I see you guys, whether it be male or female. I see meat suits. I don't see meat suits. I see spirit. Okay. Um, I could be with the fitted hat and the Timberlands and the honey wheats, but at the end of the day, sometimes certain things, the way people just dress, makes them act a certain way, right? But at the end of the day, it's that inner child that defending themselves, right? So I have a lot of empathy. It's hard being a man when you're empathetic and have God-like ways, guys. I'll be honest with you, it's power. But at the end of the day, you have to have a good heart and you have to be forgiving and you have to be empathetic with people, okay? But you have to meet people where they are. Not that you're going to share your energy with everybody, but you do have to look at people from a different perspective. So this is the Meta Marvin world and this is how I'm looking at things. But I want to roll into it. Uh, this is a guy uh, that a lot of people have not have got grabs hold to of what he was trying to give us back in the 60s, early 70s, about six or seven years ago. And that's a dear, um, I call it, you know, he's pretty much like a spiritual godfather of mine. And I call him Reverend Ike. Uh, Reverend Ike was, uh, was considered just like me, a guy that pushes things beyond the paradigm. Uh, that's not a, that you, you can't do that. You can't talk about that. So Reverend Ike really didn't have a color barrier. He wasn't really race consciousness. And I know that doesn't go too far with people because we all feel that it, it's a certain color or a certain type of ethnic group that have done this to us. But at the end of the day, he wanted you to get control of what your God-like vision was. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it just even when the, the slaves went over, some chose to be a slave. Some of them chose to jump in with the white sharks. Right. That was decision to God. So regardless of what's being done unto you, you do have a decision and it's, a, it's upon you. Now, I understand what people what you put out is what you get back. So don't worry about what other people are doing. OK, but Reverend Ike was on the prosperity kick. They thought he was a hustler. They thought he was a pimp. So people that takes like big leaps into the future and how they see themselves, they don't really care about what people say about them. They don't really care about how you feel about them. And you know what the most important is, is how he feels about himself. OK, and sometimes that shows up. It shows up in a first date. It shows up in marriages. It shows up in churches. It shows up. And sometimes the good people don't get the best way or don't get the best end of the deal because he's a good person. But it's about their self-definition of who they are, really understanding the image and likeness of how much power they have and how they can really, really undo things with their mind and the way they move and the way they receive things as being good or bad or whatever. So Reverend Ike really pushed the, pushed the whole thing, man. I mean, Malcolm X was there. 
Martin Luther King was there, but you never heard anybody about having radio shows all over the country. You never heard about people selling out Madison Square Garden. And you know what he was telling you? He was telling you that you are God. We, ye are gods. He was telling you the image and likeness is within you. And whatever you put out is what you're going to get back. The more you understand your image and likeness and your omnipresence and respecting and honoring where your feet is is where God is. Man, you're a big guy. You're a big girl or you're a big woman. You're a big man. You're an avatar. So this is what the throne is about what's going on, guys, with this next level of life with this Corona thing. I want people to start getting an understanding and getting the juices flowing about, hey, man, I'm about to go for it. Man, I, I, I see myself as being, you know, nobody's going to tell me no. Because guess what? You can get anything you want, guys, as long as you don't change your mind. Huh? Right? You see what I'm saying? So let's get over from what's being going on and what's what's happening to us. And let's be a victor instead of a victim. And I guarantee you, your whole movie will change. Movie meaning your life. Life meaning that you're more of the director of your movie than you think you are. Yes, you have free will. Yes, you're you're the create you're a part of the creation and you're not the actual creator. But believe me, guys, you do direct more of the things that goes on in your life than you think you do with your words, uh, the way you feel about yourself, the way you with your how you perceive people and people and places and things. So this is how I how I honor when I see these type of things and I read about people that 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 that's really honoring not about the fictitious or the, the the theory of what God is up in the sky. He looks, he's, that's Zeus or that's a, people come up with all that. And that could be true. You know, oh man, they gave us a fake God to look at. And that's not really, you know, who we talk. Well, you're right about that. But, you know, at the end of the day, how do you still feel about yourself? Okay. I don't care if that's a fake picture of God. I don't care if it's, it's, it's Allah or whatever. Right. So the thing is, guys, I'm not 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 trying to take away nobody's definition and saying this. Well, I know a God. Well, good. As long as you know your God, then you're good. But I just hope he, you hadn't put God in a small box. OK, I hope he's really bigger than what you think what's going on in your life right now. And you have a lot to do with it. All right. OK, that your creative abilities and all this stuff needs to start showing up so you can really be God expressed. When I say God express, meaning that you're minimizing the God in you. All right. You're playing you're playing small when he sees you this big. So until you see yourself this big, you're going to be playing small. You're going to be getting scraps. You're going to be listening to CNN and be thinking that's true. OK, you're not really getting the real divine meaning of what I am here for. What is my purpose? OK, if I do die tomorrow, tomorrow, did I fulfill my purpose of why I came in this human plane? Did I waste God's time? Did I waste the people around me's time being fake and not being real with myself or not going for it or letting fear project how far I'm going to go in life? Or having these generational curses saying, I didn't see any millionaires in my life. I didn't see any entrepreneurs in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I know this ain't for me. OK, if that's what you said. So let me tell you something about what I hear about what Reverend Ike said. He said that God has one word. He said that if you say I'm poor, God says yes. You say I'm rich and I have fabulous friends and I have a dynamic life. God says yes. So it's only one word in God's vocabulary, guys, is yes. So who that lets you know who you are. See what I'm saying? So be mindful of the correlation and relationship that you have with God, because what you putting out, that's the only thing he needs you because he's expressing through you. So don't play small. So let's go ahead and hit it with the clip. I wanted y'all to hear how Reverend Ike get down. I want to let you see how he, how he spoke to his people. He talking about taking money. He told you, you are money. My own natural energy yield is about what I say about myself, how I look at myself and how my principles, my business, my family, Roll the tape. Don't misuse your word. Say that. Don't misuse your word. All right, we're going to see why you should not misuse your word. Look at your lesson notes again and look at the text and repeat it after me. In the beginning, In the beginning was, the word. was the word. Now stop for a moment and let me, let me tell you something. Every condition in your life, every experience in your life begins as your word. Before you see the conditions of your life, 
That condition begins in your thought, in your feeling, in your mouth. In the beginning. You see, the condition does not come first. What comes first? The Word, the thought, the feeling, the idea. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. So you see the pink suit. <laughs> it's funny, right? You see the gold. You see the guy standing, holding the gold, the gold cup behind him, holding his cup, right? Right. First thing you think, oh man, he's taking everybody money. Oh man, he ain't nothing but a hustle, slick haired cat. I've seen them about boys back in the day. Okay. Well, I tell you what, guys. Uh, over the marches, when everybody was trying to get uh, uh, um, health care in a way of asking for food stamps, they asked Reverend Knight, hey, Reverend Knight, will you march with us? Because we're, we're trying to advocate. They're not giving us food stamps. We're not getting this. He says, I will not. He was flying over. He was in his book. He flew over the march in a private jet. And I'm not, then don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to say the person that he with is bigger and better than everybody. But this is how he felt about himself. OK, so don't get it twisted. Remember, God is no respecter of persons. When he was flying over that march and talking about basically we are poor and we need food stamps. He was on a private jet on a red hot flying over from California, going back to New York from his second home to his third home. And he was sitting right beside Bob Hope. OK, you see what I'm saying? So this was back in the. Early, you see what I'm saying? He would not accept in his consciousness. That has nothing to do with me and you shouldn't either. You need to go out and understand that God in you so you can go out and be somebody's employer instead of being an employee. That's why I got the verb job means just over broke. You understand what I'm saying? Because nobody should be able to tell you how much you're going to make every day. How can somebody tell you that? Huh? How can somebody tell you when they just print and paper and wherever it needs to go, that's wherever it needs to go. If it's going to go into a bank, it's going to go into a bank. If it's going to go to a person, it's going to go to a person. Which way you see yourself? Are you the bank? Are you the person? You're a business? Where are you in this plane, man? Because this is how it's going to fall, guys. Donald Trump got a remedy for his. He don't care what you say about him, but I guarantee you he got a plan. Okay, he's not a good person. You don't like him personally. Okay, so what? Hey, Getting in your feelings, brother, ain't never seen nothing. Put it in your pocket. You see what I'm saying? You got to go out. And I'm not talking about being selfish. I'm talking about loving self. OK, there's a difference, guys. Don't get it twisted. People get around here and they get emotionally connected to the wrong things. You understand what I'm saying? So when you thought about what they say right and wrong in life and you hear about the law of gravity and you hear about the law of polarity, what do you think about that, man? Look at it. I say if both of us jump up on top of this building, man, on, on a 50-story building, right? And we both jump off that building, we both going to hit the damn ground, okay? That's law. That can't be changed. So let's get out your feelings and let's get to the principles and look at the laws and principles that run this life. Everything else is just floating around it. Yes, we walk in love. Yes, walk in integrity. Yes, walk in being a giver and not a taker. Exactly. But you got to put yourself on that perspective to be that type of person. So how, how this is what Reverend Ike put out there, man. Let me tell you something. You know what he said? How the best thing that you can do for a poor person, and that's mentally. I don't want to get y'all think it's all material in my mind when I'm thinking about. It. You know the best thing that you can do with a poor, for a poor person? Not be one. You see what I'm saying? So you got to watch. The things Reverend Ike taught me, he said, the five closest people to you on an everyday basis is where you're going to be next year, buddy. Huh? I take that to heart, man, because guess what? I came up. I came up with that. Pulling stuff off, off, the, off, the, off, off, off my grandma's house to keep the house warm. That stuff was traumatic, man. Y'all see when I go in and I be passionate about that, man. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Credit and all that. Yeah, I can help you get a hundred grand. But let's let's start walking about how can we keep it? How can we walk this plane and how we can be creative and not be competitive? You understand? Because we creative beings, man. It's so much out here. What we create, what we competing for. If you say God is infinite, then if it's infinite, there is no beginning or end. 
So what are we doing fighting and tussling, talking about, oh, man, you're going to get it first? Okay, if you get it first. No, I'm not saying don't move your feet because you're right. Your idea will become someone's idea if you don't move your feet because he's being more godlike than you or she is being more godlike than you. That's all that is. You see what I'm saying? When you see a vision, when God seen light, he said it, it happened. Same thing with you. Don't get caught up in the worldly times that it hadn't happened. You have to stay in the discipline. You have to honor your word just like everybody else has to honor your word. And when you do both of those things, guys, you'll see your plane. You'll see your level of influence and consciousness and awareness and people, places and things will start getting real big, real big. OK, so I'm, I'm, I'm Madam Marvin is coming with you today to want you to get start understanding of how I'm going to tell you all something, man. When you look at Atlanta, Georgia. When Reverend Ike, when you when he used to speak to Atlanta, Georgia, back in the 60s and 70s, all I'm going to say, guys, ain't, ain't, ain't that black Hollywood right now? He taught them people the level of consciousness. Do you see what kind of money and opportunities coming out of Atlanta, man? OK, yeah, you see him take the blue pill. Yeah, you might see a lot of uh, 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 people that, you know, see, oh, man, that's not gays and all that. Man, get out your feelings. I'm talking about this prosperity minded. Get out the way, man. I got plenty of friends. I don't care about where you go to bed, who you go to bed with, man. Okay, would you you want to project Tyler Perry? You want to think or wonder what you you want to think? Oprah, she dealing with another one. Who cares? You think they care about that? It's about your awareness, guys. It's about where you at in this thing. You see what I'm saying? They say, oh, oh, he's out here. He's doing this. Oh, they sinning. They doing this. They doing that, doing it, man. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Look. You're missing the target, the mark. Sin is you're missing the mark. The mark is you. You're, in, you're When you understand that there is no space between you and God, you can't get outside of that, God. So you might as well use it. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You ain't going nowhere, bro. You, you are not going anywhere, women or men, because I'm going to tell you something. You came here for something until you identify it. Everything else you're playing, like they said, you're playing with that name. You're playing with it. You ain't doing nothing with it. I want to see, let y'all see a little bit more of this, and we're going to roll this thing out. I ain't going to take too much of your time, but I just wanted to know and let you guys know that, guys, I'm confiding in you. I know that if you can come and, and, and approach this thing and start doing your studies on yourself, start believing in yourself, because I'm going to tell you something, guys. I'm going to tell you a trick. I'm going to tell you a real quick trick from Metal Marvin. When you start believing in yourself, it's a, it, it, you'll see that people start believing in you, too. You see what I'm saying? So it's coming from you all the time. So you, I can't say, oh, man, he did it this to me. He did this to me. He did this. Oh, uh, 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 Marvin, he did. No, I'm going to tell you something. It all coming from you, you guys. You can take that accountability and run with it, or you can say what I'm talking about is garbage. But I guarantee you, when you do self-inventory on yourself, and you see how much power that you're coming, letting coming in out of those ears, what you're looking at, what you're talking about and how you feel about yourself. All those things that I just described. Can you see any of that? OK, so what you think is running the show, man? What you think is really running the show, guys? OK. All right. So next time that you're in a room and you feel that someone's up to you and you know it, just remember what you're feeling is what you got inside of you. Use it. Don't use it for the bad. Use it for the good. Roll the tape, man. I'm, 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 I'm loving this part. So you see, whatever you want to be, to do, or to have, you go right back to what? The Word. You cannot change the law of the Word or the effect of the Word, but you can change the way you apply the Word. We talked about that yesterday. The way you apply yourself to the law or to the Word. All right, let's read on. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. The thought, the, thought the, idea, the idea, the feeling, the feeling. And, the word was God. and the Word was God. Wow. Now this is not just a theological concept. This is why our theology here is encapsulated in the hyphenated term, God in me. Say that. God in me. Say it again. God in me. The third time. God in me. Because you see, 
the Word is God. Your very Word is God. It is your almighty power. God dwells in you as thought. The power of thought. And what you think about yourself is your individual God. What you think about yourself is your God on the individual level. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, man, listen. This is this this is te real teaching right here, guys. Check check him out. Like I said, I'm a, I'm probably gonna you know I don't, I'm not gonna roll Reverend Ike out because uh, every week. But I guys, listen, man. Keep going. Checking checking the Thinkers Lounge out, guys. Check him out. Check me out. I'm trying to revive our minds, guys. It was a mind. It was a mind trick to put us back into where we are these days and these conditions and things like that, man. We went. We 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 was traumatized, man. Our manhood was took. OK, think about the things that you saw and what with, with the slaves and everything, what we had to do. And again, I'm not getting race consciousness. I'm talking about mindset. When you sit up here and you talk about, oh, oh, uh, 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 white people or such and such, they think they better than us. Well, let me ask you, well, how do you feel about yourself? I don't have no problem with them. You see what I'm saying? Because we can convey we, 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 we it's God to God to me. You see what I'm saying? Now, it might be some it might be some other people out there. That, that maybe control the people that, you know what I'm saying, that might have an agenda. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm going to tell you something. Regardless of where you are in this plane, take accountability for your space. You can't control everybody else's space. I'm talking about your space, where you live at, where you run your business, the way you walk, the way you walk through your life and the way that you portray and you teach your kids. No, you take your power back. You don't let anybody talk to you like that. You understand? You put discipline in them. You you make them do studying Julius Caesar and all those guys. Those are great people. But God is nothing, nothing greater. It's the best model that you can be looking at and really discerning and doing your your, your research on right now is yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because this whole this whole spiral in the sky and you know we're picking cotton and they looking up in the sky. See that was that dream. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you something, if they would understand and know what, 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 what was going on inside of them, that's that strength that came from our women and things like that. To keep them understanding, they got to believe, man. They have to believe in these days. OK, and these are not the last days like my brother uh, Reggie was talking last week. This is just another age. It's another time. It's a time for us to not be quarantined. It's a time for us to be it, it, we're, we're going into being in a cocoon, guys. And so, people, we got to revive our mind, man. Look at things that's going to make you think, things that's going to make you ponder. Now, man, let me look this thing up. Let me, I, man, I, I'll be in my library sometime, and I'm just looking through stuff, man, because I heard something. I got to look it up. Get, uh, I'm going to put it to you guys. The, most of the things, I guess I'm in my 40s, right? See, so I am always have been a seeker. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm, the, um, I'm put it this way. I'm a Mason. Go with a rule 102. Traveling men love y'all. You know what I'm saying? A, a military veteran, uh, a college uh, graduate from ODU University. You know what I'm saying? A Desert Storm vet. Uh, own three businesses, have a nonprofit. Um, I'm busy, man. But the thing is, I have to keep my mind. And these are not things about saying about ego, guys. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into the, the titles. I'm just trying to tell you that you got to seek this information. You know what I'm saying? I ask myself all the time. I said, well, what do I need to do? You know, I know what Psalm, guess what? I said, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I want to have value. So when I talk to people, I want people to understand. I want to make them think. I want to make them think bigger than themselves. Make them look, make them look within themselves. Grow. Okay. So the thing is what I had to do, I had to put myself around wise men. OK. And what happened was, see, that's not a respectable person. So I wind up getting around rise, wise women and men. Right. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, is you have to act like a child when you discern and want information and want knowledge. Man. You know, they say, hey, hey, if you knowledge is know that if you don't know that ledge knowledge, if you don't know that ledge, you will fall off. You see what I'm saying? You got to know that. 
And you have to know that wisdom is the thing of what's going to make you discern and know when you're hearing wisdom that is for you. Wise, dumb, wisdom, not wise. Don't be dumb that you can't hear the wisdom. You understand? You got to look at these metaphors, guys. Yeah, oh, they don't make no sense. Okay, then. Right. I got you. So these are the things that sort of that triggers me and makes me understand and think about, guys, look, I don't know it all. But right now, I have to step up and do my part, guys, to tell you what keeps me going, what keeps my motor running, what keeps me thinking, well, man, God, God I mean, what, what God is going to bring into my life now? Because what the thoughts that I have put out there and what I projected to the world. OK, so now I can just sit back and receive. Wise man always told me I was a little kid running up and down, doing stuff in the neighborhood, stuff I didn't supposed to be doing. He said, man. He said, I'm going to tell you something about wise people, Marvin. They, well, they, back then, they called me T. He said, one thing, you'll get more things taken care of, Marvin, if you just sit down. And he said, because if whatever you're putting out there, it's going to happen anyway. So all that running around, that's just extra energy and stuff that you don't even have to do. So I can sit right here on the porch. And I know everything you're doing. I hear when you're doing this, doing this. I don't even know what time you come back. You know why? Because I sit in the same place every day. You ain't, you ain't fooling nobody. You see what I'm saying? So let's get into that understanding. Man, get quiet. I'm not trying to tell you to go and try to be some monk. And I'm, I'm not. I'm, but as people that's out here that's wise, they understand what I'm saying. You have to get quiet because it's a thing. It's one thing that I learned from. Uh, I have to give it to uh, uh, a mentor of mine. And he said, he says, Marvin. You have to come at God with power and strength. OK, you can't come with that. Oh, I want or please and all that. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. He said, Marvin, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you what reaches. And, and once you get once you start rece receiving the prayers and affirmations that you putting out there, brother, he said, when you talk to God, you have to sound like him. You have to come in, but you have to come. You have to come with power. You can't come with, oh, God, please, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. Okay, then. Well, then that just stays there. That stays right there where you're at in that pity party. Okay, guys? So let's let's let's, let's generate this, this, this force and this power that we have inside of us, guys, because what you're seeking is seeking you. It's always been there. You see? So if you're going to find the end result, walk into it boldly, guys. Don't walk into it with one leg and trying to be a half of a man or trying to be a woman that you know that you don't want to be because that right man and that right woman going to show up for that same situation. And you just have to know you got to become whole if you want to meet somebody else that's whole. Right. You got to do your work. Right. So all the blessings and things is all around you sitting there just like this. OK, then. Well, you know, you know that. Yeah, well, you know, you, you got it. Like I said, and when he went into the desert, you got to go around. You got to learn again. You got to do it again. OK, well, we, OK, well, is it good? you're going to do this again. OK, well, then hey, we'll just do it again. So, guys, listen, let's let these lessons be learned, guys. Let's project these things. The things when I tell people think people think that it's crazy when I say that sometimes. The things that affect your bank accounts and things like that is your self image of yourself. And I know there's no connecting dots in your mind like Marvin. That's cruel, man. That's cruel. OK, well, OK, then, guys, well, let me tell you something. You will become more accountable. You will have more people. I mean, asking you for advice. You will have more people looking at you saying, hey, um, uh, sir, can, I'd like to ask you a question. Um, this, but because what you're doing, you're setting yourself up to the tone of because one, you can't you can't be studying this work and doing work on yourself, and it's not going to be a reflection outside of you. Because whatever you're doing on the inside, it's going to reflect on the outside, and people are going to see it. They don't have a choice. That's the way this thing goes. So you might as well do the work on the inside. Read something that feels good to you. Write stuff down. And you can keep writing it down until it gets until it comes become who you are, guys. We are oneness with whatever we say about ourselves, whatever we write about ourselves. And that's something that we need to practice. You see what I'm saying? So how much power can you have if, they, if, if God giving you imagination, guys? You know, I'm doing this reentry program and I'm sitting here and I'm talking to guys that's, that's being able to talk to me. And, you know, either they in prison and they in this. They said, well, Marvin, how can I think about prosperity? And I'm sitting here in this prison cell all day. You know what I told him? I said, listen, I'm going to tell you something, man. Here's I'm going to send you a couple books first. And when you read those books, 
I guarantee you everything that you're looking at in that room, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I tell you this. When you see them keys, bar sale, when you see that lampshade, when you see that little TV you got sitting in your jail, don't you know all that came from somebody? Man, you got millionaires sitting right there at you, looking dead at you. Now, I'm talking about Meta Marvin world, but you won't see that because you feel that you're isolated and you look at that bars, walls and things that doesn't mean anything to you. But that's imagination, guys. You got the same thing. See what I'm saying? So think with me. Think big. Gravitate to this, guys. Go, hey, look, go to metamarvin.com. Hit me up, man. I love talking about this stuff. I work, I work my butt off all day, but this is the stuff that really gets my juices flowing, guys, because I've always actually got give me something I can be able to share to people that I can help people. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not the most biblical scholar. I don't have all this words to make. Oh yeah, da, da, da. I'm not trying to make you scream and shout and run up and down there. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to hit you is I'm trying to hit you with, 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 with a perspective that you need to know about yourself before you leave this place. You see what I'm saying? You need to know that. So when you do leave here, you'll be smiling on the inside, guys. So this is what I'm going to close out with, man. I want to affirm right here, right now. I want to, uh, I want to affirm right here, right now. Mother, Father, God, that everybody on here was definitely going to be able to look inside themselves and be able to project the, the loving kindness God expresses ex to anybody that comes into their energy, into their perspective, into their anything that comes into their living, loving plane. Let them be able to pull down the madness and the noise, dear Father, and let them be able to look inside of themselves and pull out the flowers and the opulence and the prosperity that's what's in them. Everything in there is in them, God. And I want them to understand right here, right now, dear Father, that it is here in the present. And so, dear Father, I want to be able to understand and know that everybody that's listening to me is coming from loving energy to loving energy. People that doesn't understand this, they will soon. Definitely be able to put things around them, dear father, whether it be the right people, places or things for them to start showing up to let them know by design they are here for something. And I say, so it is. So it is, dear God. Thank you, God. I'm talking to you guys because I'm talking to myself and I'm confirming what I'm saying about myself, about you guys. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is what I call it. And, and don't 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 get off the side and, and feel like I'm, you know, something else. But this is mind science. Look up Thinkonomics for uh, Reverend Ike, please. Look up Thinkonomics. His, his MP3s are there. I'm going to be having some framework around that as well. So I got one more video, guys, and I'm going to sort of close this thing out. But I wanted to affirm and put that out to you guys because I believe in and knowing that people are going to take this information. You're going to run with it. Please play this video for these guys, please. I want you to think about that for a second and repeat after me what I think about myself, what I feel about myself, what I say about myself on the individual level is God to me. Now remember that. It's not somebody up there in the sky who wakes up feeling bad one morning and gets up on the wrong side of the bed and says, I think I'm going to do some people in today. <laughs> or I think I'll make him rich and make her poor. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. Now let's continue. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Now, let me tell you how that applies to you individually. Every condition in your life has come about because of your word. You see, that makes you responsible. That's one of the distinctives of the teaching here. I am responsible for my own circumstances. Say that. I am responsible for my own circumstances. But you see, that responsibility also gives me power. If I had power to make it, I've got the power to unmake it. If there's something that I have done in my life that I don't like, I've got the power to change it. And we're given that key. Be you transformed how? By the renewing of your mind. Change your word. Let's finish the text and then I'll let you sit down for three minutes. 
and the Word was made flesh. And the Word was made flesh. In the original Greek it says, became incarnate, which means in the flesh. You see, the Word always becomes flesh. Every word, every thought, every feeling, every idea that you believe in always becomes express, pressed out into your life. You see, your experience of life is the pressing out of your thought about yourself. All right, all right, all right, guys. Listen, man, I, I hope you guys still tune in. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm putting it out there to you guys. Um, you know, it, 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 it's funny that, that, that when, you know, um, you know, I, I shout out to um, Shavar the God. Um, uh, you know, brothers that's optimistic about life, um, trying to project and trying to put not attention on themselves, but putting it on other people. Uh, my brother, BJ Murphy, um, you know, um, David Halls, um, Queen Curry, um, you know, all the beautiful people that I have that, 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 that sort of, you know, in the same, you know, camaraderie of mindset of that love energy on how we, you know, can just, you know, link up and have a good time, you know, and talk about things that's in our lives. We're not human, but guys, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Right now, it's about time to get into mind science. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I'm going to tell you something, guys. Some things that I have seen that I have seen in my life that would probably blow most people's minds, right? When they thought that I was supposed to be in the military and I've seen all these people getting killed, they thought I was supposed to either be PTSD, bipolar, uh, depressed, everything else. Guys, I'm not on anything right now, okay? I had to use this information, you see what I'm saying, to keep my mind right. You understand? I, to go out and build businesses and make hundreds and thousands of dollars, being able to be in late, you know, and I'm not saying these as escalate guys. I'm talking about it's brothers out here that's really struggling with this. But if I felt that they got some of this information about who they are and being understanding that it's being in Christ consciousness, you know what I'm saying? And being, um, it, 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 it's here. You just, just like faith. Faith is always, you, you can go out and have faith to do something you ain't never did tomorrow. If you turn it up a little bit, it's just like volume. It's, they just turn it up. But you have to understand and understand that it is no right or wrong. You just got to know what you was here to do and do it, guys. OK, and there's been here people here that have showed you the way. And I'm just trying to play my part. I'm being humble with it. And I'm just trying to show you that, you know, sometimes what I couldn't get in the church, I had to actually, yo, show me, show up. You know, and so these are the things that I'm sharing with you guys in the Thinker's Lounge with people that have that same mindset, have that same frequency of mindset and guys, things that can get you over this thing. Because right now people are confused. They, they don't know what to do. People walking in and out of each other's lives or 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 people, you know, jobs. None of this stuff is you, though, guys. None of this stuff is you. They say my job, my Facebook page, that stuff ain't yours. Hey, Facebook page can turn you, they can turn you down. They can lock your stuff up tonight. It's probably going to happen to you. That's not who you are. You see what I'm saying? So quit saying, that's my, this, my, 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 my. That ain't your stuff. So get your stuff. You see what I'm saying? So do your stuff inside of yourself so you can really get your stuff. Quit projecting all this stuff outside. It's not yours, guys. You see what I'm saying? All this stuff, oh, that's my big house. If it was yours, then you wouldn't be paying the bank 30 years with all this interest. That ain't yours until you get the deed. So understand when you say mine and respect who you are in your time and make what you have the best of what you got right now, guys. Be grateful, understand, but don't think small. Connect with people. Honor your what you're doing. Respect it. Respect other people. But that might not be that person over here. Oh, but that might not be the guy. That might not do the guy you need to do business with. I might not even be the guy. You see what I'm saying? So you need to stay in a good relationship with that omnipresence and that omnipotent, that um, that um, that omniscient power, man, that's in you, around you, all the time, guys. Just respect that and know that. And listen. I'm not sitting here trying to be preachy. I don't care how you take it, but this is what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. You are in the image and likeness. So until you understand and develop that power and that authority and start to understand it, I don't care who you're talking to. 
But when you say it, make sure you're talking to somebody. Quit talking to these people. We, back in the day, the OGs would quit talking to them peewees or quit put talking to them little boys and come up and let's sit on the porch and let's really have a conversation. Like Jay-Z say, what you talking about? What we talking about? You see what I'm saying? Y'all crying. He making a move with the NFL. Y'all saying he play, he, he playing that stuff, but he giving you baby to make more. I mean, so we ain't going to get into that. But what I want to get you to understand, whatever you're at, it will be a matching frequency, guys. So that's where we at with this. So, guys, check this out. I have a couple books. Well, I have one that's actually sitting around, guys. This is a magnificent book. If you can see it, um, it's called it's called The Abundance Book. It's by Joseph John Randolph Price. It's a Christ consciousness book, and it talks about prosperity and money. But, guys, it's not even about money. It's about you. OK, so it, it, it really defines Everything that I've been talking about here, I mean, it, 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 it sort of talks about money is an effect. And if you concentrate on the effect, you're forgetting the cause. And when you forget the cause, the effect begins to diminish, to diminish. When you focus your attention on getting money, you're actually shutting your supply down. You must begin this very moment to cease believing that money is your substance, your supply, your support, your security or your safety. Money is not, but God is source and supply. Seek the kingdom first, guys. Seek the kingdom first. This is Meta Marvin. Yo, guys, check me out on Thinkers Lounge. Any guys got any want to build with me? Uh, sisters, queens out there. Uh, I salute you guys for doing your part. I'm just trying to do mine. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this last 30, 45 minutes, midweek. Let's get over. Let's start opening, cracking these books, guys, and start honoring ourselves. I send, I send love and energy out to everybody. Thanks for supporting me. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm about to shut this thing down. And um, y'all have a wonderful night and have a wonderful evening. Hey, listen, guys, my, my email is metamarvin7 at gmail. Metamarvin7 at gmail. Hit me up. You know, I'm on uh, um, Instagram, metamarvin72. Uh, uh, metamarvin72. I'm right there, metamarvin72. Okay? And then, of course, you know, I, I got on the Facebook page, Meta Marvin, guys. So listen, let's 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 get through this Corona thing. Just hey, be safe out there, but keep your mind right, because the next level is not going to be about how hard you work. It's going to be about how smart you think. Keep thinking. But when you think, do something for me. Think big. Peace. Faith, spirituality, religion, all words synonymous for conveying a deeper meaning, mean. nay, a higher power. See, See wars, wars have been fought, have been fought in bloodshed, all in the search of enlightenment. What about the word consciousness? What image does that conjure in your mind? Everything is by design. Your ability to identify in this space at this moment reaches far deeper than you can ever realize. I challenge you, I challenge you to shed the lining of self-doubt and enter the realm of your awareness. Welcome to the Thinker's Lounge.